Hi, my name is Sam Hemphill. And I'm here to talk about uh, Mother Hicks the play and to uh, tell you a little bit about my character. And his name is Tuck. His sign name is T on the temple. Tuck really focuses on, uh, he's, a, he's a deaf actor. He ha cannot speak, he cannot hear. And he uses sign language to communicate during the play. I have had experience before working with hearing actors in a theater realm. Um, I do have a substantial amount of experience doing that. And it can be challenging um, working with hearing individuals. Because, I mean, I try to read their lips. I do have some residual hearing. And I do try to teach them a little survival sign skills so that we can communicate effectively with each other. But it is definitely a challenge for hearing people as well. If an issue arises between, uh, between the um, actors, if they forget how to uh, navigate or communicate with each other, it's, it's, it's nice um, that you know, we try to have cues um, amongst each other to try to help navigate that communication between the two of us. And, and it's also a very good experience for hearing individuals to develop the skills and learn how to uh, communicate with me um, and also develop a relationship or a rapport with any deaf actors that they might uh, work with in the future. I definitely feel a connection with Tuck. I've experienced um, a lot of things that he's experienced. Um, I am the only deaf person in my family. I did feel uh, some sort of isolation growing up and how to effectively communicate with my family and how to, um, w wanting them to use sign language to be able to communicate with me. And I had to, you know, use my observation skills, use my eyes as a way to learn um, through cues and my, you know, my, and other people uh, taught me things, and my parents taught me things as well. Um, and I feel like I can personally relate to Tuck um, because I have experienced some of the things that he has. It's almost a similar story compared to my background and uh, me growing up and what Tuck is going through in the 1930s with his life and Mother Hicks.